All right, good morning, everyone, uh, and happy Friday. Uh, today, we're just going to continue working on expected value uh, and also learn how to use our calculators a little bit. So, make sure you have your graphing calculators out. And there should be some on the desk for those of you that need to borrow one. Uh, so, recall that expected value is where you just take the value of something and times it by its probability. So, if you look at your notes, okay. This is the value, it's represented by the letter X, and then the probability is represented by the, uh, the letter P. So to find the expected value, and by the way, another word for this is the mean, okay? Uh, we take, we multiply each possible value by its probability, and then you add up all the products. So this notation right here means sum, it's called sigma notation and then remember that in our calculators this is the mean okay so if we look at the first example to these are all of the values okay so values going across and then all of the probabilities so we have to take the sum of each value multiplied by its probability. So we're going to take 0, multiply it by its probability, and take 1, multiply it by its probability, and so forth. Now, when putting this into your calculator, uh, make sure that you have the correct number of decimal places and you're just being careful what you enter in, okay? And then, just to say for time, I'm just going to tell you guys what the mean is, but you should get 8.128 for the mean, okay? So that was a lot to do by hand. So in our calculators, we can do this as well. So you're going to type the data into L1 and L2. Okay. And then after that, you're going to press one bear stats. And then you should get the mean. Okay, so that's going to be the mean in our calculator. So just to remind you guys where all this stuff is, remember to type stuff into L1 and L2. Uh, you just press stat edit. So L1 and L2, press stat and then edit. Okay, and then to do the one bear stats, you go to stat again, and you go over to calc, and you'll see the one bear stats, okay? All right, so uh, for the next example, the first thing we need to do is find the, the mean, the expected value, okay? And then from there, uh, we're gonna find the standard deviation, okay? So go ahead, take a moment. I'm going to pause the video, but please go ahead and type all of this data into your calculator, and then we'll talk about the next part. So please pause and type the data in. Okay, so hopefully you have all of the data uh, plugged in now. So to find the standard deviation of x, uh, we need the mean in order to do it. Remember that the mean is just the expected value. So if we look at this formula right here, this is our standard deviation. I'm going to use SD for abbreviation. So standard deviation. The sigma means sum. The X is the value. Then we have the mean, which is the expected value. 
and then we have the probability. Okay, so to find the standard deviation, we take all of the values, we subtract the mean and square it, times by its probability, and then we add all those up. Okay, so it does take a little bit of work, but your work, your worksheet is short tonight. So. From the previous example, we know that the mean, or in other words, the expected value was 8.128, and we're going to use that in our problem to find the standard deviation. So we take the value and we minus the mean, square it, and then times it by the probability. Okay? And we have to do that for each one of our values. And then we take the sum of all of them. So this takes a little bit to write all the way out. And actually, you can find this uh, on your calculator as well. When you do the one bear stats, uh, look for this symbol right here. And that's going to be your standard deviation symbol. But for this first night, uh, we would like you to do it by hand. And then from there, we'll use our calculator. So tonight is going to be by hand. Okay. Make sure that you square the difference that you're finding. Okay. And once again, all we're doing is taking the value minus the expected value or the mean square it and then multiplying it by its probability Okay, so why don't you guys go ahead and pause the video and take a moment to plug all of this lovely information in. All right, so you should get approximately 2.0656. And then to find the standard deviation, we still need to take the square root of that. So square root it, and you get approximately 1.4372, and that is what your standard deviation equals. Okay, once again, you could do this in your calculator. You already typed all of the data in. Go to uh, stat calc and go to one bear stats and you'll see that symbol for standard deviation. Okay, but once again, for tonight, please do it by hand. And then after we do one night by hand, um, you guys can go ahead and start using your calculator for it. All right, let's take a look at the next page. So it says, find the mean of expected value of rolling a fair die. So remember that if it's a fair die, then that means the probability of any of the numbers showing up is 1 6. And we've actually done a problem already similar to this. So you have the probability times the value. Remember that this is a fair die, it's not loaded, so each probability is going to be the same. Okay. And then once we plug that all up and add into our calculator, we should get 3.5. Okay. okay, for the next example, and I'm going to go ahead and erase to this for some reason. It's floating as I'm 
doing the problem. Uh, so for the next example, it tells you that you have, for the price of $1, you have a 1 in 20 chance of winning $10. So the probability is going to be 120, and the payout is $10. And then it says you have a 1 over 100,000 chance of winning $10,000. So we have 1 over 100,000 times 10,000. And then go ahead, add those two up together, and you should get 0.6. However, there was initial a fee that you had to pay $1, so let's subtract the $1, and we get uh, negative 0.4 as our example, okay? And that actually is the next part. It answers that question right here. So it says, on average, uh, you will expect to lose 40 cents. Okay. So is this a fair game? Uh, remember that in order to be a fair game, it has to be zero. So no, this is not a fair game. And then it says, why? Uh, because on average, you would lose 40 cents each time. Okay. So remember, in order to be a fair game, uh, it has to be zero. Okay. So you have the rest of the time to work on homework, which is worksheet one. Remember that you need to do the expected value and the standard deviation by hand for tonight's homework. Okay. And then in the future, we'll use our lists uh, to shorten up the work we have to do. But for tonight, please do everything by hand. I will be looking for that on your homework when you turn it in. So have a wonderful and safe weekend, everybody, and I'll see you Monday morning.